Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dimitris from Thessaloniki again, th Greece, and I will present you my last project, that's for um, two basque basque basketball teams uh, that are the eternal rivals in my town. Uh, you see here is PAOK FC and RSFC is a basketball game between the two teams okay and um, <coughs> here I made um, an application that counts the points also counts the rebounds from the teams this means when uh, after a shot uh, the one team steals the ball from the other the fouls you know what the foul is for each team and uh, all this okay it's Pauk FC and Iris FC you see here let's start from the structure I can explain the structure by showing you some diagram because uh, I told you that I like a relative layout, the relative layout with an image in the background and it starts uh, text view, text view uh, here is the uh, an image view and st here starts start linear layout first linear layout over here second linear layout over here third, fourth and after starts for the second team first linear layout, second, third, fourth and here is uh, a text view again that says game overview that gives the game overview and again linear layout for the text over and linear layout for the total results and here is a linear, uh, linear layout with game over button and here is a text view that changes um, with the results with game over here the total results are shown okay let's see some basics I explained in the, the previous time but I will explain in the, I explained my previous project and uh, but I will explain what is happening here okay I have used custom fonts uh, I will show you how this application shows on a phone it shows like this okay I used custom fonts here and there are some drawables okay some images where I put each let's see again I make in Android Studio project but my project name application sources main I make a folder named assets I put a folder named fonts inside and in the fonts I put my custom fonts okay and um, in the same time in Android Studio projects basketball game that is the name of my project application sources main res drawable I put my drawables here you see some drawables that are strange that are XML files I will tr tell you what this XML stands for okay in my drawables but this is in a uh, second stage okay so I close this window for my fonts I explained you where the fonts where I created this about fonts also in my previous project I explained you that I where I use these fonts and these uh, fonts are used here okay this font is used with this uh, text view with this text view with this text view and here is where in the text views the sizes of the font in the different text views okay uh, I put the number of text uh, I put the text view and uh, what size I use without SP okay here I don't use SPs 
this font is used with this text font and this text font without and in these sizes without a space. Okay. Let's go back and uh, this is me and here I will tell you about what are the hi project highlights use of flags use of custom frames frames in views horizontal or vertical lines uh, already from the previous project I used if then else okay I need if then else <coughs> and I told you why I, I need if then else because if the score is zero you can make it negative okay for avoiding such kind of things okay multiple text strings in single text view I will show you and on a button click perform multiple actions I will show you again I used in previous project also I present to you so let's go and play with the game okay um, here I have some scores but I, I'm gonna get them to zero to start from the very start of the game okay so here I can put uh, for example you see that uh, in a football game there are In a football game you can uh, have two points, goals, free throws after a foul. You can have one or two free throws and you have the points out of the area that are plus three points. Okay, so you have uh, baskets with two that count two points, baskets, goals that count one point and three points. Okay, so let's start with the first team after I have two th free throws the second team rises up free throws plus one that came from plus two that came out of the, the normal area and counts for three okay rebounds for the first for the first team fouls for the first team rebounds fouls for the second team let's believe that is a a, a game judge that uh, manipulates all this uh, manipulates all this uh, uh, all this application and here you see that here with the button click that I put two points on this uh, team the the points came come here also the the same is happening for the second team also the points come here so are for rebounds and so are for fouls okay you see that in the same time pressing this button you have the results here and you have the total results in the game overview here on this line okay but when let's say that the user made a mistake and put three points on this team but was mistaken because the last basket went out and this is not right he removes the points okay the three points but he can remove more even here this uh, team makes a, a field goal of two points he can remove the last two points but not more you see pressing again and again on the minus button happens nothing this is because this uh, guy this uh, judge that 
uh, makes this that uh, confirms the points or rebounds or fouls cannot undo all the moves he can undo only the last move and this is uh, happen with flags for example even here with the rebounds okay they took a rebound oh it was a mistake let's take out the rebound with minus 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 again but nothing happens he has the right to remove only the last move because uh, if he makes a mistake uh, he has the right only to undo the last mistake he made he can undo uh, other moves because I don't believe that uh, he can undo previous moves he can make so many mistakes one after another okay uh, even with the points if you search on the code you can't have negative points or negative rebounds or negative fouls it's um, it's not right you, you can't have negative points okay so let's go to see how this happens let's go what uh, variables we have here we have the points of uh, and I say that uh, you have better to uh, assign similar values this is uh, two similar layouts that work in the similar way so I say integer points for team 1 integer point for team 2 integer rebounds for team 1 and rebounds for team 2 you have to uh, for not losing your consistency to put the same uh, kind of variables just change team 1 or team 2 or files of team 1 or files of team 2 ok this is the one that I, I advise you don't not to use total different definition and search what uh, this uh, this integer or this um, standing for and what that standing for if you use totally different definition for uh, the two teams is uh, <laughs> you you will lose yourself okay so uh, if s something similar and you say see here that is quite similar for the two teams even the layout use variables that are too close just change that this is team one and this is team two okay and i'll put some flags this is flag for points for team one this is flag for points of team two flag for rebounds for team one rebounds for team two and so on so uh when um the, let's say the first team have a point of uh, this plus two the point go its point go to the points plus two and goes the flag to two if gets a flag uh, if gets a free throw of one point gets the points plus one and gets the flags to one okay but when we press the minus bar button here what happens removes from the total score the last score plus two plus one or plus three we remove it but it gets the flag of points to zero so if we press it again the flag point is zero and nothing goes out from this uh, point again I mean when I press here the points come to be 23 and the flag is 2 when I press minus it returns to 21 but the flag of points becomes 0 so when I press again will not uh, decrease anymore okay so it's here I press and the rebounds become 9 when I press here become 8 but the flag for the rebounds becomes 0 so when I press again nothing happens so this 
buttons of minus decrease only the last move decrease from the points of rebounds or fouls only the last points and not previous ones okay and all this happens if and only if here yes, seems what if the flag of game over is zero because if I press game over everything is finished the game is frozen okay let's watch here the first team rises up with files with uh, rebounds and whatever let's say that in this moment the game finishes okay here are the total results and we say game over say that Pauk FC of course this is the first team won and the score is 33 to 28 this is finished now even I press anything nothing happens because you see that everywhere the condition is if flag of game over is zero we continue if flag of game over is one nothing happens and when I press this button game over the flag of game over becomes one we can see in the uh, here when I press game over flag of game over becomes one this is this means the integer flag game over is one this means that the game is finished and I can make the results different no, nothing nothing changes I have to reload the game to start from the very start okay this button makes this flag one and for example here to change the rebounds have the, the flag of game over to be zero it here pressing this button became one and cannot be undone if I reload here Pauk FC won the game I reload and now Iris will win, win the game for example Now Aris won the game by 52-59, ok. I reload the game. And here shows game over the game is down means that is equal between the two this is the the multiple text views on the text in the text view I mean this text view can take several uh, can change to Pauk FC one or Iris FC one uh, or the game is down okay on the button view we have different text views what I say in um, here <coughs> use of multiple text strings in a single text view this is a single text view and I can take multiple text strings ok and um, here in a text button in a, in a button action 
for example, pushing this or pushing this now, of course, because game over is doing nothing, pressing two or two or two or three or one or whatever, also gives results here and gives results to game overview. Okay, this is use of multiple, uh, gives uh, multiple actions on a single button click. A single button click gives a number here, but changes the number here. Perform multiple actions on a single button, key, button click. Here I push the button click and I take different actions here. Okay, in this text view. Anyway. <coughs> Uh, the different if then else you can understand by here that I push the button for game over if game over equals to zero and the points of team one is greater than team two then display this else display this else dis display other thing Okay, these are different strings. I, this is a complex if then else. If this happens, else uh, do this, else do that. If this, do that, do that, do that. Okay, you can get, I, I will upload the, the whole code and you can see what I have done here. Okay. Um, this is the flags, you see the uh, the application is aware of the flags the flags of the points, the flags of rebound, the flags of gaming game is over or whatever okay so let's go to the uh, to the last things that is uh, I discovered that work use of custom frames and horizontal lines this is about xml let's go to my xml view and to see to notice some things you see that there is a frame round points i put this frame because i need to uh, see the number clear here and uh, because I have a background image with uh, drop down, I say, uh, as I said, I made in Photoshop, I take the, the image and I drop the tone. Or how to say, uh, uh, the image is in low tones. But uh, still, I want the points the rebound, the number of points, the rebounds and the fouls to be very clear within the background image ok uh, I don't want the eye to to conflict, to make a conflict between background image and my results here so I decided to put a frame over my numbers over my results ok, how do that? Um, here I have my drawables Okay, and I told you about the fonts. Okay, these are the, my custom fonts I used. And here are the drawables. Let's go to the folder of the drawables, and I see my um, what images I have used until now, and some XMLs. What are these XMLs standing for? Okay, let's see. I need notepad and uh, <coughs> I go in my application in the Drupal folder and I say show me all files and I open this okay I see here an XML code this is the BY code this rectangle black and yellow and what I see here I see a frame with background color with uh, width of uh, of the frame and the 
the shape of the corners rounded. You see, let's let's see in the real application. Is a frame. Also here is a frame. The frame has a border color of black is filled with yellow and the corner radius is 1 dp it has a, a little bit circular radius on the corner it's not totally rectangle you see here in is 1 dp radius i can describe this rectangular here and i can show and i can save it in drawables the same happens with this black and white rectangle this black and white is here okay so how can you use it I go in my XML and uh, I go for example in this button and you see say that background is drawable rectangle black and white so this has the background of black and white rectangle with the frame of black and the filling of white okay this has i go here has drawable rectangle black and yellow okay these all are in the drawables this is this is black and black is my bb rectangle xml okay all these you can edit them with a um, just notepad okay all files this and save it as dot xml files okay this is all and the last i have to tell you is about drawing these lines because you will see that here i have two horizontal black lines okay maybe we were taught about um, text views image views but there are some kind of view other views that were not taught about i will tell you now because i searched throughout this because i was very curious i wanted to draw a line it's very simple you know in a layout in a graphic user interface in a GUI you have sometimes to have some lines or whatever i i had to learn <laughs> sorry boys uh, and girls i don't put questions on sometimes on slack because uh, it's too too i can uh, stand too much i mean i don't have the time to wait for an answer so i search over the net uh, on uh, stack overflow and i find some answers uh, i try to use them sometimes um, uh, i need my time i fail I, I try again anyway i'm used from the time we didn't have internet at all you know i'm, <laughs> I'm an old-fashioned guy so i was using books so now i'm using the net wherever i find the, qu the the answer for my question and sometimes i'm in a hurry so i had to to find out how to simply draw a line okay so let's go here ah oh, sorry let's go here and here i have uh, you see that I always use comments that I will use a line I it's not uh, a text view or an image view it's just a view it's just a view and say the width is much the parent and the height is 1 dp okay the color is this means black okay and if I have this view there is a line is a line is a horizontal line if I wanted a vertical line I would use the width would be 
one point it would be vice versa I mean the width would be one point and the height would be much point okay would start from here and end here uh, or whatever I want from where I want to start the line and go wherever this is the code for creating for defining a line in your view in your design okay and don't forget about the comments comments in XML because you lose yourself if you see here the XML code is 860 lines okay and Java is kind of 300 I don't know how much uh, 323 if you don't use comments you will lose after two three six months you will lose what you did you see make your comments because you will lose what you did you after two or three or six months you will not say your code imagine that if someone takes your code to apply some uh, some changes will not understand at all okay this is my advice I don't know if I have something else to uh, to say about all this I think that I declare everything in my project anyway I will upload everything uh, from screenshots to uh, to codes XML or Java you will have done on Slack I will upload everything and you can experiment with what I say okay thank you very much have a nice day ladies and gentlemen bye